Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy I Foreign Spice back at it again with another WWE pay-per-view event, guys. Yes, and this time it's money in the bank, baby. Money in the bank. Yes, it, it was an event. It was, you know, so many things took place during Saturday night in the States, especially in Las Vegas. Adesanya as well. If you want, if you watched him, he also won his get match as well. And as well, regarding the WWE. But first of all, guys. If you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because you know what? Sharing Ivor and Spice is caring as we're on the road to get 3,000 subscribers and 10K followers on the Instagram, babe. So do share, subscribe, follow the, follow the social media's accounts, of course, and click the link description to contribute to the channel via PayPal or send your thanks, guys. But back at it again, because you are here for your wrestling and only your wrestling. Let me not waste your time because it was an event. Money in the bank, a dramatic ending, and also for the women as well, just, just as well as the men's. What an event it was, guys. But let's start it off with the first match of the day, which was the women's money in the bank match, which included... This rivalry between Becky Lynch and Asuka, Liv Morgan, who has been waiting for a very long time to win her first WWE Championship, and then Sean C. Lacey Evans, who has fought and come from a very long way, guys. Big up to Lacey Evans for what she did. Raquel Rodriguez and Alexa Bliss. Boy, that first fight, the women's Money in the Bank match, it went to the down to the wire. Raquel Rodriguez showing brutal strength at times, just showing her how strong and powerful she is. Liv Morgan as well. Big up to her. Big up to her because she tried, she fought in there. But the, the most important thing, what really blew her mind, guys, was the rivalry between Becky Lynch and also Oscar. They had, at times, plenty of one-on-ones punching each other up, you know, getting each other by the front, throwing each other on the ladder, guys. But the winner of the Money in the Bank, guys, Liv Morgan winning it, winning something for the first time in WWE, a girl that came from a very young age, a big fan, fan as well, when she was eight, nine, saying to herself that she will one day be WWE champion. Because she's much so interesting because of what took place after that during the night. But Liv Morgan winning women's money of the match, big ups to her, got to give her respect. Second fight, Fury versus Bobby Lashley for the United States champion. You thought to yourself, you know what? Bobby Lashley, the big guy, the most powerful the, the almighty versus Fury. Fury, that's not even as... You can't even compare him to Bobby Lashley. Let's be real. And you knew it to yourself that that match, you're going to see a one-sided match. At times, it was a one-sided match. Bobby Lashley himself dominating the match throughout the whole fight. Fury as well had some moments there where he got himself to get some beans. Get damaged, Bobby Lashley. And that Bobby Lashley was damaged as well towards the end. Bobby Lashley winning the match with a hurt lock. A hurt lock that really, really hurt Fury to the match. To the extent that he had to tap out. He tapped out. Bobby Lashley winning with his teeth bleeding. You know the amount of damage this Bobby Lashley took? The blood was just dripping down his teeth. Uh, out of his mouth. He just didn't know whether his teeth were bleeding or his mouth was bleeding. But big up to Bobby Lashley as making it to the new... United States Championship of the World. Big ups to Bobby Lashley. Next fight, Camilla Mella is money versus Bianca Belair, the fastest, the toughest, the strongest, most beautiful S woman in the WWE right now. Camilla might hold that title being the most beautiful woman in the WWE, but in my opinion, you know, Bianca Belair does her thing. She's beautiful, man. Big up to you, Bianca Belair, for winning that Royal Women's Championship, retaining her title. Come on. Camilla as well, when she lost, she got pissed off. She attacked Bianca Belair from the back, broken her down because she was so damn pissed off because she's a diva at the end of the day. But the match itself was okay. One of the best of fights, Bianca Bella as well dominating at certain opportunities. 
Camilla got to a situation where she slapped Bianca Bella and pissed her off, pissed her right off. And you deserve it, Camilla, to get to get your ass KO'd by the toughest, the roughest, the strongest, the smartest Bianca Bella. That fight was interesting, but one of the best fights of the night got to be the Usos versus the Street Profit for the undisputed. WWE Tag Team Champions. And it was a fight. It was indeed. It went back. It went back and forth as well. At times, the Street Profit was on their last legs. And at times, the Usos as well was on their last legs. But the Usos have proven themselves to be the world's best tag team champions ever in the history of the WWE. And the Bloodline did what it had to do and also delivered. Because why? They are the ones. The bloodline delivered. The Usos delivered. As well, with a 1D and a dramatic 1D and a dramatic fight. One of the best fights of the night, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts are in that fight. Because that fight went down to the wire. Bodies were on the line there. A lot of guts were spilled as well. The energy as well. The comebacks, the turning, it was one hell of a fight between the Usos and the Street Profits. And a controversial ending when the Street Profits was pinned as well. Shoulders was really up. Referee may have missed that. So it looks like there might be a rematch for some stand. You just never know. You just never know. Next fight, where there was a shock towards the end. Ronda Rousey versus Natalia. Natalia, it was the battle of the submission. And the submission at the end of day one, Ronda Rousey went back and forth with Natalia at times. Submissions of the submission shoot, who can tap out? But then again, Ronda Rousey with a, a bizarre, bizarre armbar from the upside down world. I don't know, you know, quote me on this if you guys watch uh, Stranger Things because it was an upside down armbar to Natalia. For Natalia to end up eventually tapping out. Liv Morgan, where the surprise came as a tired Ronda Rousey was just in the ring. Liv Morgan coming out, running down the ring, ready to cash in that money in the bank with a record of 100% winning record, a success rate. If you cash in that money in the bank for the women's division, you will, you will win the WWE title. And that's what she did. Ronda Rousey did her best to try and keep Liv Morgan on the ankle lock twice, three times, you know, trying to do it as long as she can. But she couldn't hold it for that long for Liv Morgan to pin her one, two, three. So Liv Morgan right now is the current SmackDown Women's Champion right now. Big up Liv Morgan for winning her first title in the WWE. It's been a dream for her since she's been a young girl. It's big up to her. And then the main event itself, themselves, the men's money in the bank ladder match, where you had Riddle, Seth Rollins, Almost, Madcap Moss, guys, Sami Zayn, Sh uh, um, so, oh, sorry, Sheamus, and Drew McIntyre. But not, not the least, there was a surprise. Aston Fury, who we call Fury right now, who lost his title, he has been handpicked by the McMahon. And the McMahon has added him as being the eighth man for the first time in a long time in the money, in the, the mess money in the bank ladder match. So it started, it began. There were at times Riddle was doing well, Seth Rowling as well doing well, Sami Zayn hiding in the corner. Yeah, as you expected him to, to seek out opportunities. What a rat! What a rat! Drew McIntyre, amazing. Sheamus did his thing. But Fury at the moon, out of the surprise, Fury ended up winning the men's ladder match. The money in the bank. He is Mr. Money in the Bank as we speak. He has won that. So he may have to go to seek his opportunity for the time that Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar faces in the SummerSlam for the undisputed WWE Universal championship fight and, and it is a last man standing match so i expect that soon as the match finishes these guys are shattered they are tired austin fury will take advantage of the situation you know he will then will be the youngest undisputed universal wwe champion and i will expect to see that 
if he doesn't succeed, then oh, he'll never get that opportunity, guys. But guys, this has been your Money in the Bank reaction from your boy, Ivory Inspired. You let me know what your fight was. Was it the men's Money in the Match? A Money in the Bank match? Was it the women's Money in the Bank match? Or was it the Usos versus the Street Fighters? Because that was my favorite fight. You guys let me know in the comments below. I would like to know. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. If you want to contribute, links in the description via PayPal. Till next time, guys. See you. And of course, back with the live live streams for Manchester United next week. Big ups to everyone. As always, peace out. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice. Out. <laughs>